everybody um i hope you've all had a wonderful week today is monday and i am just gearing up for my first week back from uh bristol so first full week back to work and i did work a little bit over the weekend um because i had this idea whilst i was in bristol of creating my um endangered animals zine but doing it in a different format so if you missed the video about this earlier there is a video a couple of vlogs ago where I created this zine it's the first time I ever created the zine and I did just a little a4 fold out sheet which had like a pop out poster and I really loved making it I thought it was really cute um, but I wanted to kind of make it bigger and better and so I've decided to create a like a5 booklet this is um something that i got from the in colorful company girls when i went to their walk in cambridge um so it would be like an a5 booklet um with maybe like a poster in the middle so the idea is that this poster would go in the middle there so you had the book and you had all this info and then you had the poster and then we had more info. This is the idea anyway. So I'm working on that this week. Um, and then I'm going out for a drawing date uh, with my friend Natelle, which I'm really looking forward to. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good week. Uh, let's get to it.
folks. Uh, so today is Wednesday. Uh, I apologize in advance for the noise. It's because I have a standing fan right next to my desk um, because it is so ridiculously warm uh, today. So I couldn't work in my office if I didn't have the fan with me. Um, I'm doing some work on my rainbow zine again today. So I figured out I had to sort of fold some pieces of paper and figure out exactly where placements of everything was going to go so that I could figure out exactly where things were and to make sure that the poster was right in the middle. Uh, I find it so much easier having it physical in front of me rather than trying to figure out on the computer. Um, but I'm just going through and cleaning up all the artwork uh, so that when it prints, it prints out beautifully. Uh, and then yesterday was amazing, I met up with my friend Natal and we walked around London and we sat in some parks and we drew people, or she drew people, and I drew a lot of nature. Um, and I talked about uh, this idea that I've had for a really long time. So those of you who maybe follow me on other social medias will know that I used to work in the theatre, um, specifically uh, uh, the last six years I was working in a customer service role in theatre um, and as in all customer service jobs you get a lot of um, crazy things that people say and do and like funny stories so I am thinking that I am going to illustrate those stories um, and make them into a little zine booklet uh, type thing I think that would be really fun uh, so I drew up um, like an example one yesterday just to uh, get a feel for it which was this one here that I drew in my sketchbook. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So this is a real story. Uh, this happened to me several times. Uh, people buying ice cream and me telling them where the spoon was and then them coming back and saying, oh, there's no spoon and then finding it whilst they were talking to me and going, oh, you should tell people where the spoon is. So the idea I have is based around stories like that and I just think that would be a really fun little um, personal project to do. So I am going to uh, start illustrating that in my spare time uh, and have a little practice. I'm quite excited to practice expressions and make characters as well. Um, I think that would be really fun. Uh, but for today, I'm just going to stay in the shade as much as possible, clean up these images, and work some more on my rainbow scene. So I just thought I would show you guys what I meant when I said that I was cleaning my images this week. So this is one of the images that was in my original rainbow zine. Uh, this is the draft which was for green uh, and so what I am doing because I want to put it into a uh, better quality larger um, size where you're going to see a lot more of the flaws which I didn't really um, erase last time around is I am just removing this background. Uh, I'm just using Photoshop for this, nice and easy. Uh, so I quickly remove the background and then I put on a base layer and I color it in a different color to what the image is. And then you can see here it's showing a whole bunch of extra um, areas of white. So this is the texture of the watercolor paper that I was using when I, uh, whoops, when I did the original illustration and as wonderful as it is and as gorgeous as it is I don't want this texture to come in the print uh, in these white areas I only want it to be in these areas here where you can see my brush strokes um, I want the rest of it to be really nice and clean so I'm just removing all of these background images um, or all of these background uh, how should I call it um, like marks so I'm just using the erase tool and then what it will look like afterwards is it's just gonna look like this image here on a flat transparent sheet and I'll show you the penguin which I'm working on at the moment so this isn't quite finished but you can see I've erased all of the marks that were around the outside and I'm erasing quite close up to the edge so that that way when I put it into the file to actually print it off then it will look all nice and neat and sharp Uh, so today is 
Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. And um, I'm just working on cleaning up some more of my images today. But I've also realized that it is the 25th, which means that I only have um, like four days to create my new illustration for the charity which I have picked for my fundraising next month. Uh, I've already picked the charity so that's nice and easy, I just need to make the illustration. Um, I usually do them in gouache but because it's such a ridiculously hot day today and I feel like everything's going to dry really quickly, I might have to do this one in Posca pens or pro markers or something like that. I'm sorry if you can hear lots of like whirring noises. Um, I've had to plug my laptop into a cooling fan because it's getting really really hot whilst I'm working. I've already been working for about 40 minutes now and it's already getting really really warm and I've got a little, like a little standing fan which is just quite honestly one of the best things I've ever bought and um, oh that just went really dark for a second. Uh, so yeah um, I'm just aware that there's a lot of whirring noises and I apologize but it is really dang hot right now and I really need to get a move on because I can only ooh post I really need to get a move on uh, because I can only work until about two o'clock today uh, because my studio is west facing and after two o'clock the sun is directly coming in through this window here and it just means that this space becomes like a fire pit so I can't work in it anymore um, so I'm gonna do as much as I can on the computer this morning and then leave the illustration stuff until later because I can move that into another room and uh, yeah let's get cracking Hi guys, happy Friday. So I have just finished cleaning up all of my images for my rainbow zine and I wanted to show you guys what the layout was going to look like. So I'm going to remake my front cover and um, back covers so it is going to be a different design to the original uh, that I had. It's going to look a little bit more like this. Obviously not quite as uh, sort of squiggly as what I've got now um, and then on the inside each layout is going to come with uh, the animal on the left hand side and then on this right hand side where I've written a copy to is going to be facts about the animals so uh, where they're found what their endangered status is and like maybe a handful of facts so this is the idea and then hopefully I've planned this right so that this is going to be right in the very center. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what was happening there and then right at the very end there's going to be an info um, page like what, how this zine came about and then a little making of 
bit and then I need to figure out something for the end page and then there'll be the inner back and the back cover. And so yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys uh, how it is shaping up. I'm really happy with this now. Now I've done all the photoshopping work, I can actually get down to researching the animals and creating something for these pages here. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, so that's it guys, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week and keeping me company throughout the week. I really love having you guys around with me whilst I'm filming during the week. Uh, it's just really nice, it makes me feel like I've got people that I talk to even though I'm just talking to camera. Um, anyway, thank you so much for clicking on this video, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. I would love to do a Q&A uh, at the end of my next video, so if you guys have got any questions about running a small business, or starting fresh within your business or anything like that then drop me a comment below uh, and leave your questions and I will try and get to as many of them as I can next week and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!